Well, what a difference a day makes. Here we have sunshine. And I shall show you what we've been doing today. It rained about an inch, no, about half an inch last night. So uh, things have come on quite a lot overnight, actually. Uh, so here we go. What have I been doing today? Well, this will give you a little bit of a clue. That is a poultry manure. I have been doing this. I'll explain in a little while. These are ready for the tomatoes when the tomatoes go out. So those are pots of compost that I have recycled uh, from a pile next to the tree along with some soil from where I've been digging out the new beds. So I shall show you what John's been up to. First off though you have to admire our very very pretty little apple tree. Doesn't that look nice? We went on a tree pruning, an apple tree pruning course last year so that we could learn how to prune our apple tree because I have to say it was looking a right mess and now there's no branches touching the ground and I think it's going to be a nice nice set of fruit this year hopefully no mouldy yucky ones like we had last year so anyway onwards don't know whether you're going to be able to see this that's our green bin unfortunately we don't have enough of a space yet to compost things so we have to hire a bin for 30 pounds a year I think from the council and they come every two weeks and empty it. I have to say the capacity of one small green bin for a garden of these dimensions is really not particularly acceptable but we do the best we can and as you'll see there I had a bonfire today it was great. Um, you'll see that the sun has managed to uh, make all the dandelions come out. I love dandelions they're so bright and jolly which is a good thing because our garden's full of them few little daisies in there too which I quite like. So what John's been doing today is this. Now where you see the um, the pots upside down that's where he's planning to put pumpkins. We've got two giant pumpkin plants from dad yesterday and we're planting two warty pumpkins. Well we'll plant four so there's at least two will come out. John's uh, dug out some huge great big roots. We had some um, elder in there which we uh, have got rid of. You'll see there's some bits of elder down here, elder tree. Self-seeded, of course, thanks to the birds. Refused to die, so we've got copper nails in them and we've sprayed them with Roundup, which I don't like doing, but it has to be done. So hopefully, in about a month or so's time, once we've got some good sprouting pump uh, pumpkins, and John's going to dig in a whole bunch of muck. We have some nice pumpkins growing there. And look what a difference a day makes, eh? So yesterday, all you saw there was a pallet and a whole bunch of rubbish. Today, I'll come around this side actually, it's quite impressive, I think. Um, there was a huge pile of stuff here. When we first moved in, I emptied a whole bunch of skanky plant pots. Actually, it's the plant pots that I've recycled for the tomatoes up there. But I uh, recycled all of those, emptied everything out here, and now I've just dug everything up again. I've sieved it all, I've added some soil from in the corner over there which is otherwise known as clay I reckon we could make pots around here um, you can see all the broken pots at the bottom of the pots I suppose um, that I've emptied out so that was a big pile there and yesterday there was a huge pile of bits of branches and goodness knows what else there and uh, that's the remnants of it now quite impressed with that I do like a good bonfire uh, only one match one big match, admittedly, but only one match. One of those. Mag and fantastic fire. So, as you see, that's our uh, tree stump and very nice remnants of the bonfire there. And if you're wondering what's under here, it's not a dead body or anything. Um, I have been... Oh, John's been putting up some stuff ready for netting. Oh, you may remember yesterday there was a, a, a bird's wing sticking out of there. John pulled on it and there was the rest of the bird buried in there so we're not entirely sure what did it but uh, he's put it in the in the bit regular bin which I suspect is going to stink by the time the bin men come to pick it up but hey ho so you see all this stuff here now that went all the way up to where the greenhouse is so I've dug those two beds um, and gradually I've been clearing all the stuff off there obviously they put the, the black plastic down and the membrane and then put bark chippings on top but it's been there for so long the bark chippings have now composted down and all it is is just a nice mat of weeds basically so as I've been clearing that lot there 
I've been taking this lock off, putting it in a wheelbarrow, and then sticking it in this pile here, and I've covered it all over with the, uh, the black plastic, and hopefully it'll rot down a bit more, and we'll have some nice compost next year. Um, so that's what I've been doing there, but you'll see here, this is the soil that we have, so it is actually clay, very thick, heavy clay. But it seems to be quite uh, fertile, so um, we'll see how that goes. And I'll show you what John did yesterday while I was down visiting Dad. We now have lots more little chilli plants. I um, forgot to mention the uh, courgettes yesterday, but I have managed to get rid of a couple. I took some down to Dad's, and also a lady came round. I put a chair on gum tree freebies, and she came to pick it up, and I managed to offload two tomato plants and a courgette onto her. She was quite pleased and we're quite pleased. So um, that's pretty much it for the day. A oh, pile of um, rubbish that uh, John dug out from where the pumpkins are going to go and I'm hoping somewhere over here I've uh, dug in a couple of sweet peas there which I hope will go up and interfere with whatever that is there. I can't remember. And I also put a couple of sweet peas in down there and I've put a little bit of wire going up the tree, so I'm hoping that they'll grow. But uh, if not, I've got a couple sweet peas in the house. I might just dig in there anyway. That's still going. The, uh, uh, what was there before? Spinach, that's gone. Um, and I've dug back and, and cleared quite a lot of the ivy from along here. And a lot of what I'm digging out beside the tree stump now, I'm going to put down here ready to dig along once the potatoes start coming up so I can earth them up. Um, so that is the grand sum of today's hard work. <laughs>